man. This ain't looking good for Yug. <laughs> it's over, Yugi. With my three blue eyes white dragons, I'll be making quick work of your life points. Just like I did with your grandfather. Kaiba's right. This board is full of powerful monsters. And my hand makes no sense. What am I supposed to do with these cards? It feels like no matter what I draw, this game is hopeless. That's not like you, Yugi. You... you're Jeff Leonard! That's right, Yugi. I'm just another old man trying to give you some advice. Remember, Yugi, sometimes the line to your wind condition isn't always clear, but never give up. Trust in your deck. No, Jeff, wait! He's right. I have to believe. There is a line to victory. There has to be. I just need one card. There's no point in stalling. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. But it does contain... Neo Space Connector! Ah! Oh, Neo Space Connector! Wait, Neo Space Connector? Yes, Kaiba, Neo Space Connector. A creature born to explore the ever expanding realms of new space. And like many explorers, Kaiba, he never journeys alone. Neo Space Connector's special ability allows me to summon a Neo Spacian monster directly from my deck. So come forth! The nautical Neospatian Aqua Dolphin! Wait, where's Dark Magician? And now, Kaiba, by using my Neospace Connector and my Aqua Dolphin as material, I link summon the unstoppable Isolde! Wait, what? The effect of Isolde allows me to add to my hand the ubiquitous Ignite Templar and send the infragable Infernoble Arms Turandal to my graveyard which then allows me to special summon from my deck the incorrigible Infernoble Knight, Renard! Hold it, Yugi. You must be insane if you think for one minute I'd let you go through with this ridiculous strategy. This pile of yours belongs in the trash, and I intend to put it there myself. I activate the special ability of the Kelbeck in my hand to bounce the Isol back to your extra deck. Uh, oh, God. Uh... uh. Shit. Oh, did that put a damper on your plans? A uh, little bit, actually. Uh, uh, j just give me a minute here. Uh, uh. Oh, by the way, you're supposed to add Durandal from your grave to your hand due to Renaud's effect. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Kaiba. Oh yeah, don't mention it. <sighs> Probably would have played Nibiru if you already had it. Hmm. Uh, what else am I supposed to do? Uh... All right. All right. All right, Kaiba. Now I shall play the indestructible Infernoble Arms Durandal from my hand, equipping it to my Renaud, which will destroy it, allowing me to add from my deck to my hand a level five or lower Fire Warrior monster. And I choose the inextinguishable Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer. But I'm not done yet. Now I'll activate the instantaneous instant fusion! By paying 1,000 of my life points, I bring about my ace monster, my partner, the unsummonable Flame Swordsman! Wait a minute, that's my monster, Yolk! Ah, yes, Flame Swordsman. My closest ally. My dearest friend. What the f, Yolk? Next, I'll activate from my hand. The Expeditious Instant Contact! By paying another 1,000 life points, I summon the sizzling spicy Elemental Hero, Flare Neos! Hey, you can't just steal a card from another man's deck! That's sacred! Yeah! Wait, who are you? Now, using Flare Neos in the Flame Swordsman as material, I once again summon the inseparable Isolde! Weaving a tale of sword and sorcery, these two roommates will activate their special ability once more. No, it can't be. I just don't get it. Never in my life have I seen such a strategy. There's no theme, no clear line, 
it's just a pile of cards. Neospatians, Ignites, Synchros, and now he's playing Beyond the Pendulum? In all my years as a duelist, I've never seen such a pile of junk work so fluidly. Hey, don't insult the junk, rich kid. Where the hell are you guys coming from? Finally, Kyle. It's the beginning of the end. By using two monsters, I construct the Overlay Network. Xyz summoning the timeless Time Star Magician. And now I'll activate the special ability of my Time Star Magician. By detaching one Xyz material, my Master of Magic will reach through the barriers of space and time, allowing me to search for one dark spellcaster monster from my deck. A monster of dual monsters past. The monster known as... The Unstoppable Exodia! Uh... Oh no! Oh yes, Kaiba. While my monsters may appear scattered and unorganized, these unlikely allies have joined forces to allow me to search for the first piece of my ultimate creature. Not that you would know of such camaraderie. Yugi, that's a low blow. I'll have you know I have plenty of friends. Paid employees, dragons, and Mokuba don't count. Who's Mokuba? But I'm far from done, Kaiba. Now I activate the effect of the Ignite Templar in my Pendulum Zone in order to destroy both of my Pendulum Scales. But in response, I will activate the protective enchantment of my Time Star Magician. This will allow me to send one Spellcaster monster from my deck to the graveyard in order to negate their destruction. And for that cost, I will send Blue Dragon Summoner no, 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 no. And now, using my Beyond the Pendulum and Time Star Magician as material, I link summon Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. No, 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 no. Who will gain four spell counters, allowing me to summon from my graveyard, Blue Dragon Summoner. No, 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 no. And now I will link off my Blue Dragon Summoner and my Selene in order to link summon Cross Sheep. And now that Blue Dragon Summoner has been sent to the graveyard, I can add to my hand one normal monster from my deck. The unstoppable left leg! No! This can't be happening. Yugi keeps summoning Selene, using it to revive the Dragon Summoner, then linking them off again and again. And every time the Summoner goes to the graveyard, he gets to search another piece. A loop perfectly constructed to gather all five pieces. I have nothing left in my hand to interact with. I'm going to lose to a meme. Why did I bring blue eyes to a YCS? One more piece! One more piece! One more piece! One more piece! One more piece. And now, Kaiba, I link off my Selene and my blue dragon summoner one final time in order to summon Apuloza. And with Summoner having been sent to Graveyard, I can activate his special ability to obtain the unstoppable Exodia! Ah! Exodia! It's not possible! He hasn't been summoned since 2010! I've assembled all five special cards! All five pieces of the puzzle! Exodia! Obliterate! All right. Game two. I'd like to give special thanks to the following patrons. Bulletproof. Shane Valshane. Supreme Sautier. Imaginary Numeral. John W.A. Kojak. Masturbation Wizard. Null. Samuel K. Yosef. Alec and a prem. I just want to say thank you. And now, a quick little word from my friend Lana, the uh, voice of Gaiba. Hey guys, Lana here, Techno Tenor. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to hear more of my voice, you can follow me on Techno Tenor 487 on Twitter and Techno Tenor at twitch.tv. I might start streaming some more Yu-Gi-Oh soon. And obviously, you can uh, message me if you want to talk about voice acting, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokémon, whole Jabang. And uh, anyway, here's Mufflerman. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.